Hi everybody, welcome to today's General Hospital Reaction. As always, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of our videos or reactions. Sorry I'm a little bit late today. I had to take care of a few things during the show, so I was a little behind watching it. But I think overall it was a fairly good episode, so let's get into it. Um, Anna and Olivia talk at the Metro Corps about Duke, about stuff like that. Um, Olivia's seeking some validation for keeping Julian away from technically his child, half his child, uh, but she doesn't divulge any specifics to Anna, so not really that exciting. Um, at Kelly's, Morgan and Kiki are talking about their plans to take down Michael, and Sabrina walks in with Avery, and new Kiki just gets so annoying. Like, I'm sorry, when Kiki, like... Um, um, Kristen Alderson left, left the show. That should have been the end of Kiki. Like, I don't know why they bothered recasting her. And new Kiki, I, I haven't done any, like, research in the actor, into the actress, and I'm sure she's an amazing person, but new Kiki is so annoying. <laughs> um, she wouldn't let Sabrina leave with the baby, and Morgan gets in between and allows Sabrina to leave, and... Then they're talking about their whole Michael plan, and they're going to try to make him look like he like a drunk, like he inherited his father's addiction, and they're going to do that by drugging him. And if that just isn't what Carly did to AJ all those years ago, then I don't know what else it's reminiscent of. And if Carly gets wind of any of this before, during, or after, she's going to throw a fit because, let's face it, Michael's her favorite. Michael will always be her favorite. And uh, she's not going to stand for that. I think she, she would stand behind Michael over Morgan any day. I really, really do. And at ELQ, welcome back, Rosalie. I wish we could say it was a better welcome back. Right, Ecat? Right, Ecat? Ecat says, I want to go over there. I want to go over there. Um, So, Nicholas apparently... Uh, as well as keeping tabs on his child who's in the hospital, he's also wasting time trying to take over ELQ, and he has Rosalie in there as his eyes. So, great fathering, Nicholas. Like, I can't even. And so Tracy uh, comes, comes in and pulls Michael into his office, and apparently Rosalie's able to listen to what's going inside the office from her speakerphone, which those speakerphones I don't think are supposed to go both ways, but Rosalie probably rigged it or something. And Tracy warns Michael that Sky shares have been taken too, and now 37% is out of quarter main hands, and they're worried about a takeover, and it's kind of like Tracy Michael solidarity, you know? <laughs> you can't jump in a box. It's okay. And I can Okay, can you, like, phone me in? Because I totally forget. I, if, if characters aren't on my screen for an amount of time, I just, I lose everything. Does Rosalie have something against Sabrina? Because she was, like, really hostile towards Sabrina. So, just, if you remember something I'm totally forgetting, please let me know in the comments. And Sabrina tells Michael that she heard Rosalie call somebody else boss on the phone. And Rosalie's listening in on this on the speakerphone. And at Shriners Hospitals for Children, uh, Spencer's convinced that Cameron uh, lit the fire on purpose. And it's, a, you know, with how Spencer is and how he's so dramatic and he's a kid, like, things that are so big, like, it's very, I don't know. I think I used to do that as a kid, too, like, something so big and you would just make it into understandable terms. So I really can't hold it against him for being out for Cameron like this. I really, really can't. Liz and Jake talk. She confides in Jake about the Cameron stuff. And then they kiss at the end. And I just am like, no, don't do it. Like, if it was any other two characters, like, it was actually a really cute kiss. But because it's them, I'm like, oh, don't do it. You have a wife. You have a son. Don't do it. Ah. So, cringe alert, cringe alert. And, uh, speaking of cringe alert, uh, Maxie and Lulu, Lulu is literally me, okay? Like, with this whole Nathan said I love you, and then Lu and then Maxie messes it up by bringing Spinelli into it, and it just, uh, I, I was Lulu this episode. And, you know, it's a nice thought, but the whole stay together for the kids is just so unrealistic, and is it in the end better for the kids? Because kids know if you're not really 100% happy, you know? 
And uh, then Tracy comes at the end and tells Zulu that they know Patricia's forwarding address. Dun, dun, dun. And at the boxing ring. Okay, I almost called it a boxing rink. <laughs> Can you tell? I don't box. So, Sonny apparently decided to tell Nathan that he has no right to tell Spinelli what he can and can't do, which is really rich coming from Mr. Possessive, who borderline told Carly she shouldn't be friends with Jake and tries to micromanage every single person's life. So, ha 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 And uh, Nathan is standing up to Sonny and... I was just like, get it, Nathan, get it, Nathan. Like, oh, I love Nathan so much. I so unapologetically love Nathan. And Sonny is disappointed by Spinelli deciding to bow out because I don't know what, what stakes Sonny has in this whole thing, you know? And Spinelli decides that he he will leave but on, a, on one condition and Spinelli wants to challenge Nathan to a duel. Like, never mind that Maxie is a person with a brain that can make her own decisions, but, you know, if I found out that two guys, like, dueled over me or fought over me in any way, like, I'd kick them both to the curb, because I would just find it so insulting. Um, like, Nathan... I love Nathan, because he goes back with, you know, Maxie isn't a prize to be won, and she has a mind of her own. And I was like, yes, Nathan, yes, just... Pick you already, ah, and um, you know Spinelli's like really immature because then he's oh come on he cat come on he cat because then Spinelli's trying to goad Nathan into fighting him like calling him a chicken and everything and I'm like dude you are so immature like come on and like he puts on his little speech at the end and finally Nathan's like whatever I'll fight you whatever and then Spinelli like says to Sonny he's like hey can you but you teach me how to box in the next, like, 58 minutes. So, yeah, tomorrow should be really, really fun. But as a little aside, is every man that I've hugged that is on the show destined to annoy me? I mean, Maurice Bernard, sweetheart in real life, but annoys me on screen now. And now Bradford Anderson, again, sweetheart in real life, but on the show he's just annoying me. Like, I'm almost happy Ethan isn't on the show anymore because... He doesn't have a chance to annoy me because he would be number three, you know? Because I've, I've hugged him as well. I've hugged three people who are on General Hospital. I'm just saying. Um, sorry, it's like my claim to fame. <laughs> uh, in any event, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I will see you tomorrow, right? Because it's Thursday. Yes, I will see you tomorrow for more General Hospital. I hope you have a great day. Bye!